guys, it's Ed back again here and welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the fourth episode of the Crystal Palace career mode here on FIFA 22. My voice, as you can probably tell, still not back, still a little bit rough, still on the ropes. Um, something that is on the ropes as well is Crystal Palace. Before I started recording, I went back and looked at our calendar. We haven't won a game yet, we haven't won a game all season, so um, today hopefully we're going to be able to win a game. As always, if you do enjoy the video, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel if you are new around here so you don't miss out on any future videos that come in soon. Today we have Brighton at home, which I would normally sim, but because it's a rivalry, because it's a derby, I will be playing it. Then we have Leicester City away from home, which I'll be simming. Arsenal, Leicester City at home, sorry. <coughs> Leicester City at home, sorry, which I'll be simming. Arsenal away, which I'll be playing. Newcastle at home, which I'll be simming, and then Manchester City away. So we're going to get through the whole month of October today. Loads of games, loads of results, and hopefully some points to get us out of the relegation zone. Because we are currently sat 20th. Don't know what that's about. We are currently sat 20th. As I said, no wins so far, but the last time out we played Liverpool away from home. Promising, promising signs. Um, and we, look, we looked really good. We looked really good. We just couldn't hold on to get that defeat. But since then, I've been playing loads of FIFA. I've been getting better. And I can actually defend now. So hopefully um, I'll be able to show you my defensive um, abilities in the game. Without further ado, let's get into the episode. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can progress as a club. <laughs> Dylan Marsden looks good. Daniel Brooks, no. Michael Curtis, no. Stevenson, no. Lee, no. Ted Naylor, no. We get one decent player from our scout, and we have Brighton at home. Brighton in ninth currently. They played six, played five games, won three, lost two. Let's make it three and three. We are going with the same lineup that drew two two away at Liverpool. I think they deserve a chance. They played really really well then. So Gaeta in goal, back four of Klein, Anderson, Gay. And Mitchell, Milivojevic and Gallagher, Alise, Eze, Edouard and then Zaha out on the left. Brighton have gone with Robert Sanchez, Lamptey, Webster, Duffy, Veltman, March. Five at the back. Two in midfield of Gross and Basuma, Lalana, and then Mope and Trossard. A decent side which can cause us issues but hopefully we're going to be good enough to get past them. Crystal Palace. What is it? The A, A, what, what road is it? Some derby. This is our rivalry for this season. So we need to win it. Come on, the boys. Well played. Great ball from Eze. Elise. To the edge. Edouard takes it down. Zaha. Saved by Sanchez. I think Zaha used an arm there, didn't he? I have turned handballs off in the box as well. No, Zaha was offside. Yeah. I've turned handballs off because honestly, the, the amount of penalties were given against me for some, nothing that I did wrong, did my head in. Into Edouard, round the corner for Eze. No, that was meant for Elise. That was meant for Elise. Lovely. Lovely pass. Gay wins the header. Elise. Zaha. Eze. Eze. 1 0 Crystal Palace. We love to see it. Eze puts us ahead. It's been coming. We've been brilliant in this first 20 minutes. Really, really good. Really impressed with this first 20 minutes. Crystal Palace are here, baby. It might have taken five games for us to get under, underway, but we are here. Ball's fallen to Zaha. Oh my God, Wilfred Zaha. The master counter-attack. Infield to Edouard. It's a terrible pass, but Edouard... Sends us 2-0 ahead. I was almost said sealed the game, but you never know with my defending. 2-0, half an hour, clinical. Looks like we're on our way to our first win of the season. Come on. More pay. 2-1. I, I knew I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. <coughs> Lovely. When I'm defending, I need to be quiet because I want to focus, but it's obviously not the best commentary. But I'm quiet and we still concede, so... Great. Lovely stuff. 2-1. I need to turn press off. I need to turn that press off. 
suck! Throw him on. James Tonkins is coming on now. I don't know why. No! Neil Mopes put it in. And the search for our first win continues. I thought we were going to be able to see this out. Don't know what that marking is from the corner. I don't know who the set piece coach is. But that, that in there is not good enough. <laughs> it's back to 2 2. Zaha, Edward, Zaha, Wilfred Zaha, to get us our first win. The captain, the leader, the thumbnail stars, my manager bolts it down the ring. Scores. Ooh, I didn't have faith in his left foot then. Mr. Crystal Palace. Brilliant one too. I didn't have faith in that left foot of Wilfred Zaha. To find the back of the net, I thought Sanchez was going to pull off another worldy save. But it looks like our form might just be picking up. And our first win might come here. Three goals in six games. Wilfred Zaha. Brilliant. Gets out now. Goes. Drops to Guaita. That should be it. And that is it. It was hard fought, but our first win of the season comes in the derby. Huge scenes, Wilfred Zaha. Take my hat off to you, mate. Whew, that was a tough game, but that could be a huge game for our season. First win, first three points. Hopefully we'll lift us out of the relegation zone. Hopefully this episode, we can continue winning. Next up is top of the league, Leicester City. At home, that win takes us to 18th. Love to see that. We're not the only team in the league without a win now. Brentford are. Leicester, 6 from 6, 17 goals scored. We might be in for a tough game here, but we're not going to be playing it. We're going to be simming it. Let's make some changes. MacArthur, are you? Zaha can play. Reed Veld and Hughes. Mitchell can come out for Ferguson, and that's it. Quick sim, we do get a point against Leicester City. Wilfred Zaha scored, we get a point. That's a very good point. Leicester top of the league, of course. We love to see that indeed. Moves us out of the relegation zone. We love to see that, of course we do. Two players on international duty. Christian Benteke on international duty. Who would have thought that? Let's advance forward to Arsenal, away from home, which we'd be playing. Then Newcastle at home, and then City away. Let's have it. Arsenal go with a very, very strong team. Look at that. No real gaps in that defence um, that we can exploit. Midfield is solid. We stay with the team that got us our first win against Brighton. I put faith in them. Then I'm going to put faith in them now. Elise, Eze and Zaha with Edouard up front. Hopefully Wolf and Zaha can get three goals in three games and we can come away from the Emirates with at least a point. That's going to be the aim. A point from this game. I think we can do it. Smith Rowe, Saka, Anderson in the way. Again, he's been very good, very busy in this first five minutes, Anderson. Gay win that ball. Good. Come on. Come on. Make me a run, Wilfred. Zaha. Oh, no way, Maitland Niles. No way, Alex a Alexander. Ainsley Maitland Niles has got that. Maybe I should have just hit it a little bit earlier, but Zaha didn't run. Smith Row. Uh, we have the opportunity for a counter attack at one end and then they come back and score. We're well, 1 0 down. Was well, never going to be easy here at the Emirates. 10 minutes in, we're 1 0 behind. We do look threatening though, we do, when we come forward, we are finding space, we're picking pockets. <gasps> and Edward has us level. Who would have thought that? I didn't know where that came from. Probably hear my gasp as the ball fell to Edward's feet. 
We're level. We're level at the Emirates. Who would have thunk it? Let's go. I don't know how that even got through. It's a great pass from Gallagher. Oh, was he onside or offside? Looked offside for me. We don't care because we're Crystal Palace and we're level. Tierney, Aubameyang, Saka, Milivojevic blocks, bounce back to Saka and Golin. When will our luck turn, bro? Honestly. Milivojevic has got a brilliant foot in. He just bounces back to Saka. <sighs> yeah, just bounce back to him and then just... It's a great strike. Honestly, I don't know what to say about our luck. Jesus. We have been... We are being moved around, honestly, like, this is such good play from Arsenal. What a save. <laughs> what a save. But I cannot get near them when they're in this mood. Saka. This is literally just going to take one chance. Yeah. Near post again. For all our great second half pressure, Bukayo Saka takes one chance and puts it in and we're 3-1 down. Slide through, one more, two again, literally half a second earlier, we've had three clear cut chances here, three clear cut chances, we just can't move it quick enough. There we go, here we go, Gallagher, oh has he got the pace, to get a shot away, it's a terrible shot, I wasn't even going near post, I wanted him to go across the keeper, that was the chance, that's the difference, that's, that's actually the difference between us and the good teams, the top teams, Saka needed one chance, if that was Arsenal they would have scored. Pepe, watch this. Like. <coughs> Don't know how that's almost gone in, honestly. Right. Benteke. <laughs> we do end up losing 3 1. As I said, we had chances, didn't take them. Arsenal only needed one chance. And they took it and took the game away from us. They were good signs, they were good signs. But still, we just didn't have enough. We didn't have enough, Arsenal outclassed us today. Fair play to them. It's another loss, not good. This, this is a really big game. This is 18th us versus 20th Newcastle United. We're simming it. We are simming it. And we lose. We can't even get a win in a simmed game. Wow. We might be, we actually might be in trouble. We're back to bottom. We're back to bottom of the league. And we've got Manchester City next, which we are going to be simming because my camera's a bit low on battery and I don't want it to like cut out halfway through and have to play the last game without any face cam. So we're going to be uh, simming City. Kuyate wants to play for another club. Can't blame him the way we're going. We are bottom. This City game is huge for our season. If we can get something from here, it's huge. It's huge. Come on. We've been battered. Ten games in. We've only won one. Jesus. Something needs to change. We need a big, big January transfer window. We need a big January transfer window or we're going down. Let me know down in the comment section your transfer suggestions. We've conceded six more goals than anyone else in the league. We need to start turning them losses into draws. That's our main objective. Make sure you come back next time because you will not want to miss next episode where 
We face Wolves, Burnley, Villa and Leeds. A month, a month of very, very winnable games. You don't want to miss that at all. So make sure you come back. Subscribe to the channel if you are new around here. I apologise about my performances today. We got off, our, off the mark. We got our first win. But apart from that, we were terrible. We were terrible. We almost did it against Arsenal. We got a decent point against Leicester. But after October, going into November, we are bottom of the league. Something needs to change. Thanks for watching. Have a very nice rest of your day. Goodbye. Hey, hey, we put off the side.